Welcome or welcome back and I need help at C squared. In this example, we have two tires, tires A and uh, tires B. Uh, how much uh, tire A travels if we want to compare with tire B after one revolution? And you notice tire A has a diameter of 48 and tire B has a diameter of 36 inches. So what you need to be aware here, if you have a tire and it rotates one revolution. So if this point here rotate one revolution, the tire is going to move forward and that distance will be the circumference of this tire. So for that reason, I'm going to need these formulas here, circumference equal pi d, in fact, only this formula because that is going to give us the circumference for each circle. So we're going to start with tire A, this one, and the circumference in this case will be pi d, let me call it d1, and that d1 is 48 inches. So I end up with 48 pi. I'm going to keep the answer in pi. Similar, I'm going to look for tire b, And I'm going to call that C sub 2, and that will be pi times D sub 2, which is uh, this 36. And we have pi times 36, which is 36 pi. And uh, for finding how much further does the tire A travel, we just have to do a difference. So let me call that uh, uh, distance uh, D which uh, represent how much farther okay and that d will be nothing else than c1 minus c2 in this case and that will be 48 pi minus 36 pi and that will be 12 pi okay if you need an approximation, you have to grab a calculator. Be sure you use the pi uh, you ask for. And um, I use a 3.14 for pi, and I end up with 50.24 inches. So on one revolution, tire A is going to cover 50.24 more inches than tire B. You can use this thinking and uh, this approach and see how much further does the tire A travel after 100 revolution or 1000 revolution. If you enjoyed this video clip, don't forget to click the like button and come back on C-square for more help. Thank you.